Today is uh, January 17th. It's about 3, I don't know, 15, 3, 17, something like that. The woman and I are here at Hananiga Forest Preserve up in, uh, I guess this is Rockton. There's the Hananiga Road. And next to it is the Hananiga Bike Path. Uh, it's about 40 degrees. Just a little bit of a wind. There wasn't much of a wind when we left home, but there is now. A little, little bit. Not too bad. But, you know, it's winter, so it's not so bad. Um, we saw two couples come in here. And they headed in on the trailhead over there, so it's over here where the <coughs> trailhead is there next to that big sign. One of them had, uh, one of the couples had two dogs and a baby. The baby was in a backpack. Well, pretty mucky out here. I brought a towel to <coughs> towel down well now when we get back into the car. You can see the gate is still open, so they're still plowing here. Maybe they had it closed and decided to open it up when the snow all melted the other day. Who knows? Well, we're just following the perimeter of the preserve. There's the soccer fields. They're big on soccer fields. Looks like there's been a lot of traffic in here. We ran across one other hiker. She was coming our way. She didn't pet Wilma. Now well, here's where the trail splits. This part stays up above the river and this one goes down by the river. I think we'll go down by the river. The uh, couple with the two dogs and the baby in the backpack apparently came down here somewhere and turned around and went back because we just saw them going back the other way. That's nice out here. A little breezy, but here in the, in the forest, it's, the trees block most of it. There's the river in the background. Oh, there's the river. I can see some open water there next to the shore. A lot of ice. But some open water too. We're still down along the river. I'm not sure what that is across the river there. It's like a real high ridge uh, along the river. I'm sure. It doesn't look natural. It looks like he's been there a long time though. But we're about to get to where we hit the creek. It's a couple hundred yards down. Well, here's the creek. This is Dry Run Creek. I don't know what they call it. There's a guy hiking. He came by us. I am not going across the ice. <laughs> it's solid enough to walk on, but I don't want to be sliding on the ice on my back. So we're going to go back to where the other trail is. It cuts off from this one and go around the ice. It's only a couple hundred yards back. Well, here's the trail that bypasses that muddy, creaky, <coughs> frozen over area. I thought it was a couple hundred yards. It was probably more like a quarter of a mile, but it's not too far. And we cross the creek on that bridge. And we're continuing on into the east side of the park. There's the shelter that's next to the creek. I think we're going to stop there and maybe make a cup of coffee or something. Now my cat stove seems to work. It's not really a cat food can, but I'm going to put my Walmart grease pot on there and see how well it works. <clears throat> I don't know how much water I put in there. Not very much. Maybe enough to Maybe a cup. Well, I have a little bit of a flame left. I don't know if I'm running out of alcohol or what. This doesn't seem to work all that well. This may be uh, something that just doesn't work. What a shock. Something on the internet that doesn't work. Yeah, it looks to me like it just needs a pot stand. Well, me holding it up half an inch or so helps. 
But you know what? Sometimes it burns like this, and sometimes it almost goes out. I'm not sure what the problem is. I really do think it needs a pot stand, though. Yeah, I hooked Wilma to this table. Put the pot over here. I learned that one a while, long while ago. Wilma's a, a known pot knocker offer. Brought some cheese and, uh, or cheese, some boiled eggs and uh, sausage. I have a quick snack and then we got to get out of here. It's getting dark. It didn't quite come to a rolling boil, but it's still burning. It was steaming though, so I figure it's warm enough to, to drink.